Mary Douglas, one of the nurses with HealthQuest Infusion Services. I am going to show you how to self-infuse your treatment with the SASH method. In your bag that you get from HealthQuest, you will receive a uh, bag of normal saline syringes, which are white, and they come like this, and heparin syringes, which are blue, and they come like this. You will also receive a box of alcohol pads, and you will need four for each um, treatment. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your normal saline out of the packages and place it here on your sash illustration guide. Then you will place your alcohol pads at each place that it says that there is an alcohol pad. Then you will take your uh, medication that has been in your refrigerator out of the fridge and set it out where it says the administration medication ball. And then you will have your pick line. You will need to wash your hands before you get started. After you washed your hands or sanitized your hands, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first alcohol pad, you're gonna open it, and you're gonna place it on the end of your cap. You're gonna cover the cap and you're gonna scrub for 15 to 30 seconds. This allows us from introducing any bacteria into the pick line. Then you're gonna take your first normal saline syringe and you're gonna twist off the white cap. You will pull back on the syringe to release the pressure with your, with your, um, within the syringe so that it doesn't shoot out the top of the syringe. Then you're gonna remove all the air from the syringe by pushing upward until one little drop comes out of the syringe. You're gonna take your syringe and connect it to your end cap with a push and turn method. And you will infuse the entire syringe of 10 ml of normal saline. After that's completed, you're gonna take that off and you're gonna throw it away. Then you're gonna take your next alcohol pad, open and clean again for 15 to 30 seconds. Then you're gonna connect your elastomeric pump. Your pump will come and filled up like it's a grape size. You're gonna undo the white paper and take off the end cap that looks like an elephant ear. It twists off the same way that the normal saline syringes do. You're again gonna connect it with a push and turn method. Once that's connected, you're gonna unclip the white clip on the tubing and that allows the medication to self-infuse through pre-pressured solution. After your infusion is complete, your elastomeric pump will look more like a prune and all the liquid will be uh, infused out of the pump into the line. After it's completed, you're gonna disconnect it from the end by twisting and releasing. Now you're going to clean your end cap again for 15 or 30 to 30 seconds. Then you will self-infuse another syringe of normal saline. This allows the medication to be pushed all the way through the line into your system. You're gonna twist or push and twist the same way you did before and you're gonna infuse the full amount of 10 ml. After that's completed, you're gonna throw that away. You're gonna clean the end cap one additional time, 15 to 30 seconds with the alcohol. And you're gonna infuse five ml of heparin. The heparin is there to keep the line from um, getting clotted and keeps the blood thin in the line. This is the last step until your next treatment. Once that's infused, you throw all your trash away and tuck your line back up underneath your sleeve.